Today we're going to just look at the um, biter sight tunnel. But before I get into the uh, biter sight tunnel, I just want to uh, reacquaint you with my D cut to amp sight, which you know I love because I've put it in other videos as well. And if you haven't seen these, go back and uh, have a look at the other video I did on sights. So you can see here I've put, I've got my uh, one mil kind of Shibuya fiber optic uh, piece in here because it's so bright. But I was outside shooting um, and what I found the other day was when it was really sunny and the sun was in a certain position, whilst looking through, because this has got a lens, what I could actually see was myself in the lens um, and it was really, really off-putting. Plus obviously one of the big problems with having a lens um, in a sight outdoors is the rain. Just like any compound archer knows, that if your bow is sort of sitting uh, on its bow stand and it starts to rain, it's gonna fill up with water. So usually I have to run out and kind of put a bag or my hat or something over the top. So I wanted to try, still, I mean, I'm still gonna use this indoors, but I wanted to try a different um, site outside. So I plugged for um, the Biter site. Now the site, Biter site tunnel comes in two different sizes. This is the 12 mil and this is got a fluoro pin in it as well but this is my sight block and I didn't want to take it off that it also comes in an 8mm as well which is more of a sort of a Shibuya kind of size although this is the larger 12mm and you can get loads of different inserts for this as well as you can see on this diagram now um, you get a number of different uh, inserts for the 8mm and a different set for the 12mm so make sure if you are ordering different inserts that you uh, choose the right ones. And some of those inserts will take the fluoro pins. Now on this one, I've actually cut the fluoro pin off to about two centimeters because the world record or FETA WA rules specify that you're, you can't have uh, anything longer than two centimeters coming out. Now when you buy the fluoro pins, they're about five centimeters long or just over. So they are quite long. So you will find out, find that if you uh, do use them in competition, you'll have to cut them down. But what I also found was when I left them long, is that when I'm looking through, you actually kind of get a slight um, angle on it. So you can actually see the, the full length of the pin. So that's another really good reason for cutting them down to probably about one centimeter. Um, or where, however you prefer them really. And these obviously come in different colours. I've got the orange and the green here at the moment. And they just basically fit into the middle here, to the centre. Uh, this insert here has uh, got horizontal clear part. You can buy these in different colours as well. Normally you get them in red, black and clear. I've gone for a clear one here. I did quite like this one um, because I'm not used to having a horizontal part to it. Uh, I did quite like that sort of levels you up a little bit. Right, so what have we else have we got to say about that? Obviously, if you cut it a bit more, you're gonna lose a bit more light as well coming through. So the longer you leave it, the longer the length you leave this part, the more light it's gonna gather and send down to the end of your pin. So uh, think about that when you're cutting it. So on this uh, side of block, what you will have to do though, if you want to uh, remove the insert, you're gonna have to take uh, the pin out first, which is a matter of just grabbing it and turning it, um, which would be harder if you made it a lot shorter, um, but that's up to you really. Okay, so that is my 12mm uh, by to sight tunnel. What do you get in the kit that you buy, which costs about 10 English pounds? You get the little blue uh, by to tool, and you get an initial uh, red, they're calling it crosshairs, I didn't get on with this crosshairs, to be honest. Um, not my cup of tea, but anyway, give that a go because that comes with it. So, there are other videos on, on, the, on YouTube about this, about how to get these things in and out. Um, please do watch these videos because they are good. So what you get in the kit is this little blue tool and uh, how you would normally take them out is you just insert the real thin end through the end here and then gradually kind of lift it out and it will just pop out and then you can replace all the inners. 
And then the other end, the smaller end, is for really pushing them in. So you'll know where they're in properly because they sort of click down and you can do that on each corner. So that's what you get with that. Now what they also do, uh, buy to do, obviously with separate different inserts you can buy as I showed you in the diagrams earlier that you can pick from and they're about two pounds each. Uh, those in inner centres. What they also do is, if you want to try out, or you can try out all these different middles, um, they also do a five-piece pack of apertures. Now you get five, sorry, even six. That is six in the twelve mil, but you get less in the eight mil. Just angle So these are not in the right order. Different apertures, oh, actually you do get five. This is one, another one that came with it. This one comes actually um, in your packet as standard and it's kind of a, a square but with a curved edges on it. So you could try that one as well. So you do get five in the 12 mil and there are different sizes. So if I go for that one to 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 smaller. There we go. So you can try all these different apertures out, going from the larger size all the way down to the small. Um, the last one I used at 70 meters, I think, was that one. Uh, and it was pretty good because when it framed up, it actually sort of, um, you lined it up with the outside of the red on that. And it, I did get some good groups as well to start with, but it does take a lot of getting used to if you're used to having a sight pin with a dot in the middle, uh, going to a kind of just a circle kind of, I don't know, just put you off a little bit looking through it, but I think you'd get used to it in a, after a while. So that is uh, the Biter Sight Tunnel packs. Uh, I'm still working on it, still trying some different insides. I've gone from the orange fluorescent pin there. I'm gonna try the green one next, um, just because I'm used to green, because um, that's what I've got on my, uh, my D-cut to ant fiber pin, so I kind of like a green over an orange. Um, but if you're looking for a sight pin and you want to change, I mean, have a look at this biter. It's not expensive, it's like 10 pounds for the initial pack, and then it's like a couple of pounds for all the different inserts um, that you can try out really, and just flick them, flick them out and clip new ones in and give it a go. I've also written a little article about this uh, on my website, so you might want to check that out as well. Um, the links are below in the description. Uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.